Jesus Christ coached and mentored his disciples for quite some time. He would teach them his word and expect them to exercise the word. He would watch, observe, and intervene when they cried out for help. We see a classical case of that as Jesus Christ teaches an important principle in the parable of a sower. He said the sower went out to sow as he sowed seed. Some seed fell by the wayside, some on rocky ground, some on thorny ground, and some seed fell on good soil. Our desire is that we be good soil. Individuals that receive the word of God apply it in our lives and as a result produce fruit. Jesus Christ gave them a word straight after teaching that parable. He said, let us cross over to the other side. It's my opinion that Jesus Christ taught them the theory and he wanted them to practice what he taught them. He told them, let's cross over to the other side. It was important for them to hear the word of God clearly and hold on, lean on, depend on that word and trust in that word. He did not tell them about the storm that would happen. There was a storm and the boat was shaken, the boat was about to sink, and they screamed and cried out. Jesus was with his disciples right in the storm. The Bible says he was sleeping at the stand of the boat. I personally believe he was watching their reaction. They should have stood on the word of God. They should have been still at peace because the master was with them. The king of kings was with them. The lord of lords was with them. They called out on Jesus. Lord, save us. Jesus arose, took charge. The one who has all authority in heaven and on earth. He spoke to the storm and they were still and calm. And he said to them, O ye of little faith, how long shall I be with you? I believe you and I are not alone. Jesus is with us right now. No matter how stormy it gets, remember he has given you his word. Find a rest in his word. Apply his principles in your everyday life and manifest the glory of God. Remember when you fail, his grace is sufficient even in our weaknesses. God bless you.